Take a look at this amazing product. And what is it? It's a handheld 3-in-1 multimeter oscilloscope signal generator by FNIRSI. There are two models, DST210 and DST201, with 1 MHz and 10 MHz bandwidth. Also, you can get 10% off if you visit the link in description below. And I am so excited that I got it. The price for the 10 MHz is around $70 and for the 1 MHz it's $60 US dollars. NIRSI Multifunctional Multimeter Oscilloscope Multifunctional Integration 13 types of signal output and intelligent anti-burning. I got the DST201 model. Let's open it now. So we got the multimeter oscilloscope user manual, two probes with alligator clips, one USB Type-C charging cable and multimeter probes. Let's open them. Okay. And of course the beautiful multimeter. I can feel it. The plastic is very nice and smooth. Yes, it has a holder. A nice one. Beautiful. In the user manual everything is described very well. How you can operate with the multimeter, with the oscilloscope and with the signal generator functions. Operation diagram, everything is described describe OK. On side we have the charging port type C and also we have a small hole for resetting the device and also here it is on the side the power button. And on top we have the two band C connectors for the oscilloscope and for the signal generator. And let's turn on. Three, two, one. Fnirsi. The model is TST201. And take a look at that screen. Should I remove the protector? No, 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 no. Beautiful color screen. Right now I am at the multimeter, but you can easily change to oscilloscope with pressing the mode button. Take a look at that. One press with signal generator and back to the multimeter for measuring voltage or amperes. Let me explain the basic stuff beside the beautiful LCD screen. We have the buttons like mode, run and save, auto, live, enter. Also we have the main selector. You can manually select to amperes, voltage, resistance, continuity, diode test for measuring capacitance, frequency. It has a temperature. Also can measure inside temperature of the, of the multimeter, but you can also hook up uh, probes, I think. Yes, it has a sign right here milliampers, amperes, whatever you want and take a look beautiful can you hear it? okay below this selector we have left and right up and down button also we have connectors for 10 amperes, milliampers ground and a positive probe for voltage, resistance, capacitance, diode, continuity test and temperature Let's see the probes. Okay. Ooh. 
they're extra sharp. Oh, nice. Let's choose continuity. Yes, it's working fine. Beautiful, it's fast. And let's see the resistance 0 0.22 ohms. Next, I will measure the voltage. I set my power supply to 12.1 volt and take a look. 12.1 volt. And while you measure the voltage by pressing the power button, you can switch to multimeter, you can switch to oscilloscope, signal generator or settings and just hit enter and you, voila! Here I have a Schottky diode, let's measure and yes 0 0.304 drop voltage. Also I need to mention this, when you hold the mode button on each function you get a bar graph. Take a look now. I'm gonna go to voltage, add some voltage and you can see the minimum is 0 volt and the maximum is 12.1 and the bar graph is moving, it's going down. Also you can set that on the continuity test or on diode. Let's check. Yes, it's working great. It says minimum drop voltage 0 0.3, maximum 0 0.59. Beautiful. Here I have, I think, 2 mega ohms. And take a look at that. 2.056 mega ohms. Let's switch to measuring capacitance. Here I have 560 nanofarads. 578 nanofarads. Alright. Now I'm gonna show you how you can measure current or amperes, but you need to relocate the positive probe on this place where it says 10 amperes. If you measure milliampers to milliampers, but we're gonna measure amperes. Let's go there. And I'm gonna go to amperes. Also, you get notification to change the probe. That is beautiful. We have 12 volts power supply. Okay, let's go to positive. And let's from this side, okay. And take a look. The car bulb is pulling 1.77 amperes. Also, you can read the minimum and the maximum holding the mode button, and you got the bar graph. Disconnect, the bar graph going down. Beautiful, I love that function. I set my power supply on 1.7 volts, so I can see how much current is pulling this red diode. I will relocate the red probe to milliampers. But it says 0.076 milliampers. It's not even one milliamper. Holding the mode and take a look. Oh, light. Okay. Removing these probes. And as I said, using this button or the power button, you can switch to oscilloscope or to the to signal generator. Take a look. Now I am on the oscilloscope, pressing again signal generator and back to the multimeter. Also with pressing this you can set whatever function you want. Let's go to the oscilloscope now. Uh, in the package you will get two probes with alligator clips for the oscilloscope and for the signal generator. Okay, attaching them both. Before showing about the, how it works the oscilloscope and the signal generator, we're gonna go to the settings and here you can choose the language, you can adjust the sound and the light, 
light, startup on boot, choosing multimeter oscilloscope or, or signal generator. You can change the theme. Let's do that. Ooh, white. Beautiful. Also auto shutdown. You can choose 50 minutes, 30 minutes or, or one hour. And about the FNIRSI. Choosing signal generator, enter and take a look. We have a lot of functions here. Shine wave, square, south to hull wave, full wave, step wave, reverse step wave, index up, in index decrease, direct current, multi audio, sync pulse. But we're gonna try with the most popular, what to be, shine wave. I set it to 10 Hz. With this button here, it says run or save. You can run or stop. I'm going, going to run and going to mode and take a look. Also, you can hit auto and awaiting auto measurement. It should get. Ooh, what it says. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can change it. Oh, I love it. And just to mention, the signal generator probe is connected to the oscilloscope. And at the same time, I'm generating the signal and reading on the screen. How nice is that? Also, with holding the mode button, you enter in these functions where you can set the AC, the DC, the probe times 1 times 10, mode normal auto single and the edge. Great. Let's try another signal. Enter. We're gonna go with square wave. Okay. Let's go to hit run. Auto. One more time. Waiting and take a look. Beautiful. All right. I love it. Stop, run. When you hold it, there's when you hold the run or save button on the display will be shown a lot of readings like frequency. It says 10 kilohertz, duty cycle 50%, voltage maximum 1.6 volts. All right, voltage peak to peak to peak 3.2 volts, average 80 millivolts. Beautiful. All things that you need to know is now on the display by holding this run or save button. Take a look. All right. I need to try this. Can I charge it while the multimeter is working? Also the signal generator, the oscilloscope. Come on man, what's the problem? Okay, plug in. And take a look, right now it's charging and it's working. It's pulling 700 milliampers. Nice. That is a nice feature, so you can charge it and the multimeter will work in the same time. Beautiful. Love it. By the way, if you want to read all the specifications of this multimeter, you can check in description below. There will be a link. I need to find... Oh, here it is. The battery capacity is 3000 milliampers. So, charging with 700 milliampers. It's all right. And just to mention, besides that you can manually select whatever function you want, you go to A, what means auto, and you can measure whatever you want, voltage, resistance, continuity, hertz, capacitance, whatever you want. Just leave it on auto. Nice. I hope you liked today's video presentation of this beautiful FNIRSI multimeter 3-in-1 with 
multimeter oscilloscope and signal generator. The model is DST 201, rechargeable. What? Okay, please give a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See ya! Power off!